Okay, we are going to the game number two. Oh, it would be uh, it would be Abido versus Agent. Excuse me, I didn't update it. I need to get used to updating everything like a boss. Maybe I should take a break to update it. Uh, and we have like uh, we set a ZVZ on Sulfur. Um, and the brown zerg on the left position is Avilov, whereas purple zerg, the top position, we have Agent. Yeah, Mr. Agent, mm. showing us some good ZVT today. Yeah, mm, those were quite quite nice ZVTs. And but I watched, I looked at Avilov's uh, ZVZ versus Tai Two. Taito is a great play player, but uh, I, I had the feeling that uh, that doesn't feel too comfortable in this matchup. So I'm really curious how this game will look like. Yeah, me too, because um, like even after seeing the choice, the true choice of the map, um, it will be like the, there is no ramp over here, so Lynx can be much more powerful. Mm, then on the map with the with the ramp. So I'm wondering if some of the players will try to abuse it. But look at the build orders. We have first gas uh, before um, first spawning for agent, whereas a standard nine pool for Avilov. And this is an anti nine pool build from Mr. Agent, because he will mind the same amount of gas almost, but tied to, but but Avilov will. Uh, stop mining with three drones for a second and will start to mine with two so he will gain advantage during that time and and he will he will have drones to mine it for the whole time so i think this is this is directly anti nine put build mr quadrox thank you for 100 beats you are the the um, second spot beater thank you very much boys for your support so nine pool now so we will see action. Play first from Avilov, no speed. Oh, we are not married yet. We will. We are getting married in seven months. Mm. Oh. We'll play a BSL finals on your wedding. Yeah, there will be like <laughs> uh, top four players will get invitation. <laughs> so. <laughs> So yeah, it's Look worth to play Brood War. Strategy. Both players played really early uh, gas and players pick uh, select defensive position. So. Hmm. Oh, and yeah, Sunken is on the position and how many? Nine drones already from Mr. Agent. So look at that. He's have perfect drone saturation. He have perfect answer for this nine pool, but Avilov is also making adding more drones. So yeah, and so we have nine versus nine. The spire should be a little bit faster. Oh, but there will be Hatcher in the main base. I don't know if I like it. Oh, one drone. Mm, yeah, one drone. No speed from either of the players. Oh, but. Agent is mining gas with only two drones? This is weird. I think this hatchery was, was, was unnecessary for him in this build order. He could make... That delayed the spire. Yeah, delayed the spire and he could place it in the, in the expansion. Hmm. Oh... Avilov will have faster mutas and an expansion. Yeah, he will have faster mutas, but uh, I think uh, Agent will have five mutalisks at the same time if he will save the larvas, because he already have 100 more gas than Avi. So if he will not lose too much on on this first like two or three mutalisks, it will be not that bad for him, and he will have a timing to push. The crucial thing is, will he know that he has a timing? <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's the crucial question, and we he's making more links. Yeah, opportunity to do something, but you miss it. But look at those links. 
Yeah, these are the speed sl slow links, and three meters are on the way, so Avi will have perfect to respond to it. I think it will be even perfectly timing timing again. Uh, if if there would be a uh, circling speed in the play, that could go totally different. Yeah, if there would be zeroing speed, you are right, because there is no sunken in the Taito main base. And oh. this, this will do at least something, at least pull some drones from mining. One drone, two drones, some mining time. Not that bad overall. But now he have to fight with time, because Avilov is having expansion, so... I think Agent needs to end it as quickly as possible. Five meters versus four, another four are coming. So we have seven against six. And Avilov is super blocked, so oh and if he will fight now? Oh I don't know. Oh he's not paying attention now. What will be the micro? Frisco just connects. Five meters against four left. Against five. Oh yeah, against five, excuse me. I must have misclicked, but there should be like two or three meters on the way from Mr. Avia. There are two meter discs. But that because I think that this worked this way because Avilos was supplied block. Yeah, definitely. And now two more meters from Mr. Agent and He's getting a lead in this game. He needs to mess up the Scorch Micro. If he wants... Oh, he's close. No, very nice Micro. Very nice Micro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Those meters had to be really damaged. Yeah, and the first eight of the gas will come for Mr. Avilov. But will he have time to use it? Oh, the Scorch just oh. connects perfectly. Oh, look at this micro. That's why he, this guy is in pro league. 15 supply against 31, so this build was good from Mr. Agent. Look at this micro. He's abusing every, with only four muta discs. That's really nice. Yeah, I didn't know you can do it with two, two four meter discs that easily. And more links coming right now, so I guess it will be GG and Agent will take one O lead against Mr. Avilov. GG. Uh, you know, I even step. Just say I, I didn't even say anything because uh, that Muta Micro was so nice that I just wanted to watch it, watch him doing it. Yeah, that was very like happy for an eye or pleasuring for an eye. How can I describe it? But yeah, you're right. This was very uh, entertaining by and I think I I don't understand why Avilov wanted to attack him when he had expansion. Because he got cut, uh, like, in the middle of the map, right? Sometimes I feel that uh, Zerg players uh, in ZVZ are a little bit too aggressive. Uh, I'm, I'm, I watched it in the game of Tai 2 versus Avilov. Yeah. Avilov uh, was, in the game, when he made the Sanken tried to build a little bit, in my opinion, too aggressive with those Zerglings. He had advantage, he could just uh, do those mutas really uh, faster. The, at the end he won uh, that game, but he was too aggressive with his Zerglings, I think. He could go really faster with uh, his muta deck. Yeah, but, and he bought some time with the Zerglings, right? Yeah. Mm. But it was even speed slow links and he was able to bat some speed. So game number two is coming. Z. positions because there is no other possibility. Z. In the top right corner we have purple purple Zerg, Avilov, and as the white Zerg, 
we see Agent BSL5. Agent Aka Kamezek. Kamezek or Kamezek, I don't know how to. Hmm. Don't say do. Hmm. Everyone knows about who are you talking about, so. No yeah, I guess you are, you are right, Mr. Mazul. And 550 APM, that's how badly he wants to advance. God. Damning, I, n I never got even close to 400. I have 100, uh, I have 400 when I'm like holding one and moving my oh, screen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a good same way. Same here, same here. <laughs> oh, Avi is going for this uh, 10 hatchery build against 9 pool. Huh. And how it will look like on this map. He won with this build against Tai 2 on Aztec. Uh, Tai 2 was making 9 pool, he was making 10 hatch and he was able to defend. This nine pool. Let's see. Ten hatch expansion. Yeah, ten hatch expansion. A very bold move, especially if you are losing one o. Like I said, I, I've got the feeling that uh, Avilov doesn't feel too comfortable in ZVZ, so he's trying to uh, have some build order advantage. I think. Yeah, you are right. I think you are right because uh, I think there was a time when he was playing Terran versus Zerg even because he was not very comfortable with ZVZ. So, um, yeah, and he's definitely choosing the good build orders uh, because he should have advantage against against this nine pool if he will be able to hold it without any uh, like big losses. So a lot depends, will depend on the initial uh, Zergon micro. Hmm. So, uh, Agent will have the speed upgrade a little bit faster, so this will be crucial. Yeah, and this will be a different compared oh, to what Star 2 did. <laughs> yeah, this is every second matters. You are, oh my god. You, you must be so mad as a Zerg if you are doing 9 pool and your links are like stacked in your main base. But this is different approach from Agent than we seen with Tai 2 from Tai 2 because he went for fast layer without speed. And now we will see um, a lot of speed links. So I think oh, even again, the sun again. is good. <laughs> Again, uh, nine pool fast layer. No speed upgrade. Yeah, I think he started with a speed, so there will be speed. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it will be very dangerous for for Avilov. He need to wait one more round of the of the links, I think, mm, to fight straight up against it. And ten links against. Eight, ten, it will be soon. Twelve. Yeah, so this versus... is the build order advantage you was talking about. The numbers are in favor of Mr. Avilov. He don't have a speed, but like if you have four more links or even six, it's, it's definitely enough. Hmm. Oh, Avilov will have also. Uh the time window to do a lot of damage with those zerglings. Yeah, if he we see a spire. Maybe he will already. go for a sunken again. Maybe, who knows? Let's see if there's a drone. Drone pool this time. Yeah, and I think one more sunken would be smart. Uh, that that I must say that was a great move. And when you said uh, on the stream that you don't like when someone is doing to, it to you, <laughs> I remembered our two v two tournament. Yeah, uh, I, I I have it still in my mind when I when I know that these two eggs will go with double nine pool and and sunken rush me, then I can't do anything, guys. That's... And I even asked them after that, is it possible to do something against it? And they said no, it's undefendable. So, oh, but now there is still some time until Spire will be done. So I think Avilov can still sunkens. wait. Yeah, two Sankens yeah, only. So now the Sanken uh, would be really beneficial for uh, Avilov. Yeah, because he spent it all, but somehow Kainzek is like, oh, because he started firing the Sankens. So he should hold it. I think he will. I think he will crash it. I thought he will crash it. I drone survived, so... 
compared to Tai 2 free drones, it's it's massive, massive amount. Even super advantage for Agent. But free hatchel is from Mr. Avi. Hmm. And now he have to make some links to survive, I think. Like... Yeah, because he has got only two versus five coming in. Yeah, and if he's making drones, he will lose more than he's making. Yeah, but he's very smart. Six versus five now. Hmm. And... Oh, Mr. Agent is not even making mutalisks. He's making more drones. Very nice drone escape. I think that that is uh, a nice move. Oh, nice move, but only one drone died. A little bit of mining time has been lost, but now with the six links, he might even think... try to snipe maybe one more drone from Agent? Possibly. I think that this is a good move for, uh, by Agent to do some eco. Several mutas just to be able to kill each and every Zergling that tries to attack his uh, expansion and take the expansion. I would like to see him stop mining gas and, and gather money for the expansion because it will be impossible to play ZVZ against uh, an, your opponent who is mining from two bases and free hatcheries. I agree with that. I totally agree. So he's making... Oh, he wants to make maybe like five or maybe six mutas to be be annoying, and then he will drone up because we saw how good of Miglo he have. Hmm. I feel that the uh, bottom part of uh, Avi's main uh, base, the, the the bottom part of the mineral line, is a little bit exposed. Yeah, it's, it's possible to harass over there. Yeah. And there is a drone Abby. for expansion. Okay. So, Mr. Mr. Mazu, who do you think have advantage right now? Mm. Difficult to say, but I... Mm, I mean, we can see in, in Avis Main, but... Uh, expansion of uh, Agent Pool kick in. I think that this will be beneficial for, for, for the game. Depends if, uh, I think that depends if Agent started his upgrade. Because on the bottom line, everything will go down to Muta fights. So the Muta upgrades will be crucial. Yeah, you are right. And it would be smart to go for an upgrade, especially if you know that your opponent is not having a Spire. If, if Avi will be able to uh, survive and don't take any damage till his mutas will show, uh, will pop out. Uh, then I think that that he will be have advantage because he starts, uh, he uh, takes his gas, he mines his gas a lot longer. Mm, uh, but agent. I think agents mining gas in the main base for a longer time because Avi stopped mining for a while. So look yeah, at that, there is like 700, let's say 700 gas against 500 gas and there is still 6 mutas left, so it's like 1100 gas for agent. Yeah, mm. yeah, you're right. So there will be the minerals advantage and Personally, I would like to see Ford Hatchery and Mass Hydra, but <laughs> I don't think... Yeah. yeah, I would like to see that also. And some queens, you know, just to uh, answer the mutas, Play things like that. Yeah, something like it's It's much more entertaining. There are some fans of Mr. Avi. Go Avi there saying... The Sunken again, like in Game of Taito. I think that this is a good move because when uh, Agent will move out with his mutas, he will be vulnerable to link counterattacks. So he needs to have some kind of defense. Yeah, definitely. Especially if he knows that he's playing against three hatcheries. So the potential of building a lot of links for Avilov it's, it's like nothing, especially with that economy. And a sneaky, sneaky expansion by Avilov again. 
think he should suspect something like that after seeing so many drones. Um, but the thing is, I don't. I think that uh, he doesn't. He didn't see the amount of drones that Avilov has. Avi Love has. Oh, so because at no, at no point he approached uh, agent didn't approach Avilov's main. Oh, saturation. Yeah, you are right because this links took took the attention of the mutas and he didn't decide to to harass anything. To be honest, this. This game, this game style by Avilov looks like uh, ZVP or ZVT, something, something like that. Yeah, this is this Just is expansion. Yeah, totally uh, eco expansion, <laughs> not micro, not upgrade, not units, but uh... pure eco. And now three more three creep colonies. I don't think he will be able to deny this expansion right now. The big thing for Agent is the thing what you was wondering, if he's making upgrade, and he did, and the better one, Carpace. So it's huge. Look at Abby, he's buying time with the links. It would be good to have something like in StarCraft 2 to see how many mutas each player have. of mutas by both players. Hmm. That Agent drone advantage, seven. 80 to 60. Oh yeah. Oh, he's going for it, but is it the best option? 17 HP for the spore. And still Agent is having 900 gas, so... I'm always saying that you don't want to attack in ZVZ when you don't spend all your gas. Okay, quite uh, it's quite similar, with the exception to the beginning, to the game versus uh, Avila versus Tai Two. Yeah, definitely. The, uh, with the exception of the building placement when we stack the drone <laughs> in in his uh, main. Yeah. Yeah, this was a perfect stack of a drone, I'm, and I'm, I mean, I really wanted to do it something, and I wanted to stack Link, I wanted to see if it's possible to make a, like, a round uh, wall in around the Link with Zerg buildings, and I never was able to do it. Maybe it's easier to do it with a drone, but I don't know if it's possible with a Link. Drones are fat. Not as fat as, uh, not as fat as SCVs, but when they are fat. Oh, the position of this expansion from Agent is small. Queen's Nest. Queen's Nest from Mr. Avi, probably. Yeah. Hey. Oh, plus one car there... base is already for Avi. Oh, the same upgrades, but I anticipate that uh, Agent is doing uh, more upgrades. Yeah, he should have 2 0 or maybe 1 1 in a few seconds. But look at the supplies, he's doubling the number of Agent supplies. Okay, Avi, I want to see a queen now. <laughs> ah, hive. Yeah, but Avi okay. is showing that's, us that's that ZBZ nice is not boring, right? <laughs> he plays in a different style. He Because uh, majority of the Zerg players are playing in a totally micro way. Uh, each unit counts. Uh, and Avi is playing a, a rather more eco macro style. So. Kind of style, I really like it. <laughs> Yeah, we don't see a lot of macro style eggs this time. Okay, okay. I, I, I really uh, more each minute I like Avilov even more because he made a queen. Oh yeah. Oh, so we will see and now action. And oh, third hatchery from agent. So he will have. Why, why, why is he making four hatchery? Huh. Maybe it will be Hydra switch. swarm of mutas is wall. Yeah, and I think Agent didn't make uh, the upgrade immediately after the first one because it should be there already. So if Avi will will tie in the in the upgrades, I mean he have a number advantage. So 
And look, still 1,000 guys from Agent. I, even more, I don't understand this hatchery. It will be very hard for him to catch up without the upgrades. Uh, and a second spire for upgrades by Avilov. Oh. Let's look, let's look. I want to see. But he should hide it. Yeah, he should attack and then and snow when they are retreating. But yeah. now he just show what he have. Uh, but in the same time, like I said, Avilov is playing like a ZVP when he needs to have one more expansion than the Protoss. <laughs> Oh yeah, and he's even making mineral only. Why would you need mineral only in ZVZ? It's like so. Oh, sorry. So two more expansions, because he te he just took the top position. Yeah, this is pretty pretty hard to defend all these expansions. But overall, there are four spores there and two upgrades for Carapace for Avilov, so he have upgrade advantage. Hmm. Do we see a greater spire even? So devourers will be in play. Hmm. So if agent wants to attack, oh, but he's even not even mining gas from this six o'clock base. He decided that he have enough, and it's hard to produce uh, mutates when you have this huge surface of a gas. I think it's like three and a half control groups of mutas versus. Two. Oh yeah. I've even four Three. maybe from Avi. Yeah, my god. Four versus three. Yeah, you're right. Three. Yeah, so it's it would have to be like a not even move command because with move command I think Avi would still win it. Like it would be should have. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, and now attack. the queen. Now the queen. Yeah, definitely. Now the queen should there should be queen flares because you don't want to ensnare your own mutas. Yeah, there is a oh. ensnare. We don't see that very often and huge battle, but I think the numbers are in favor of Avilov, and even the upgrades are in favor of Avilov. Oh, huge battle! One hundred and seventy-one supply in ZVZ. <laughs> this is what we see. I'm happy. I'm happy that I saw that long ZVZ. Five no, expansions? Expansions are it. If I would play ZVZ, I would play like Avilov. For sure. That would be my style. Yeah, this is like... Uh, I don't know if you remember the guy called Satanic from Greece. Uh, the, the, from Greece, yeah. Yeah, cool this guy. was his, his style, right? Of ZVZ. I remember on Pixel Bigdom. some Bigdom. games. Hydro lurkers <laughs> in ZVZ. Uh, oh. Beautiful games, beautiful games. Yeah, beautiful. It's nice to see something different. And Mr. Avilov is taking the game now. Equaling, two. it's 1 1, right? Or... Yeah, you're right. And Aztec is a third map. <laughs> and do you remember a map called Neo Arcanoid? Uh, never it. Yes, the it wasn't it that map when you had like two uh, a mineral only and a normal gas expansion like in I don't know how to call it. Oh, I think it was Arcadia. Oh, I yeah, I was talking about Arcadia. Uh, never it. And there was also uh, I, Azalea, the same map as Arcadia, where you have uh, three experts. But I can it, I can't remember. It was a map, I remember. Uh, it was a difficult map for a Pearls player. <laughs> yeah, the Arcadia, you mean? Or Azalea? Azalea, yeah. Oh, yeah, Azalea was a World Cyber. I think Blackman won with uh, Foro on World Cyber Games 2005 on Azalea. You? Yeah, I, I think, I think. I, I always laughed that the uh, Azla remar uh, reminded me uh, of Hunters, but for four players. Uh, hmm. I don't. I don't know. Okay, but we are going to the game number three. Agent versus Avi. We pair for battle. Deciding match: Who will face Terror? 
against ZBZ, Yellow Zerg, spawning in the bottom right position is Avilov. And as the green Zerg, we can see in the top position Agent, also known as Kame Zerg. So, and let's see who will be the better player and who will face Terror in the next match. Yeah, it will be interesting. Uh... I don't know. I mean, Avilov's favorite matchup is ZVT, so he will feel much more comfortable in match against Terror, I think, than against Taito or Agent. But on the other hand, Terror is such a beast, such a Gosu player, that you can yeah, never feel comfortable against, against him. Terror played against the Agent, right? Yeah, and he won 2 1, so. Hmm. Uh... Nevertheless, no matter who will win, I think that uh, case will be really nice. But I would like to see Avi ZVT, so I'm uh, voting for him. <laughs> and there is um, Foreigner Brood Wars, I don't know if you've seen it, but Foreigner Brood War Discord made the BSL5 Fantasy League, when you can vote. And oh, I didn't see it. Because, uh, could you send me later the, the, the invitation to that? Yeah, okay, I, I, I posted it on on the main channel of BSL Discord, so, but oh. I will send it to you personally. You can vote for the players, and I, as a Zerg, I chose uh, four Zergs. I chose Mr. <laughs> Eon, Mr. Trutach, Mr. Avi, and Mr. Gargoyle, so... Gargo Gargoyle is a beast. Yeah. Yesterday, yesterday I lost 3-0 to him. Oh, so he's in, in shape, right? He's in shape. But let's back to the game because we have 12 yep. hatch versus 12 pool. So already again, uh, build, adva build order advantage for Mr. Avilov. Yeah. The good decisions made in, uh, in blind <laughs> by yeah. Avilov. Good mind game, I would say, right? It's because Maybe, maybe. You can call it differently, but the truth is that no one knows uh, what your opponent will play. Anticipate, hope for something. And in ZVZ, any mistake is is being punished immediately. It's not like you have like two more minutes to adjust to it. It's like you immediately die if you make bad bad call. So let's see how what will be the reaction of of Mr. Uh, Agent because now from my experience, I think it would be the best for him to make two more drones uh, instead of making more links. He doesn't know what his opponent plays because he scouted in the other direction. So Avilon, Avilov knows what Agent is doing, but not the other way around. So yeah. he can be sure, he can stop doing Zerglings. So he made a better opening and he even scouted with the Overlord. What, what more would you, would, you, would, you, would you have as a Zerg? <laughs> would you want to have as a Zerg? So... 10 links overall from Mr. Agent against 8, but there are 2 drones advantage, no 1 drone advantage because Agent added one more. And now after seeing the creep spread he knows that this is 12 hatch. Both players went for their layer upgrade so they won't be messing with uh, Zerglings. Yeah, and Agent is even going for Creep Colony and more drones, but Avi sees that. Hmm. And he goes for it. Yeah, he wants to force him to make more links instead of the drones, so if you spend 175 minerals on a Sunket, on a Sunken... Um, Look at it! Oh, I thought that, that uh, he won't move back with his Zerglings. Oh, if he would catch him, it would be crazy, crazy, crazy good for, for Avi and crazy bad for Agent. The Spire, Spire is a little bit faster for our um, Yellow Zerg. It's like 50 HP faster, so it's not that huge of a deal. So. How many drones we have? Oh, only six drones mining. Over, overall, eight drones mining minerals for agent and and 11, 12 drones mining mineral. Oh, uh, no, 11 drones overall mining minerals for for Avi. Yeah. 
both players have exactly the same uh, limit, but uh, agent is supply blocked. Yeah, there is one overload and probably two more drones from Avi in the natural. Um, so, you do you remember first game when Avilov had advantage of an expansion and then he overcommitted? Yes. He overcommitted and was supply blocked for a moment. He attacked when he was supply blocked. So now, let's hope he learned from that mistake. And hmm, the gas a little bit faster for Avi. And Agent probably will lose his one of his overlords, whereas Avi moved both of his overlords back. So this is also so early escape from the overload of Ravi, right? This is this is yeah. not very common to to escape all the overloads so early. Very nicely done. But Agent showed us in the first game that his muta control is incredibly good. So. Maybe he can sneak in a few scourges, even if he have, he will have more or less gas. He it's still anyone's games, any anyone's game. Everything will uh, will depend on the muta micro. So, and we saw agents muta micro. In the second game, Avilov just over macroed uh, agent, and that was the crucial thing. And look at that, he's attacking again when he's supply back and having 300 gas. This is not what you're supposed to do, Mr. Avi in ZVZ, I think. Hmm. Maybe he's just like pretending he wants to attack. Like this in each and every matchup, so you don't attack when you're supply blocked. Because when you will lose your army, you have to. You need to have your army back in the main, waiting for another engagement. Yeah, you don't want to just start producing your army. Oh. For a moment there I thought that the Scourge connected, but Agent and his really good Muta Micro. Oh, I even missed it. <laughs> I was watching <laughs> Mutalis killing, killing Zergling, so probably Chad will try to kill me. <laughs> but how many there will be like eight scourges from from agent and only four from avi i'm wondering if one of the players went for an upgrade because this will be crucial in this battle there are no spores over here so upgrade is 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 very crucial thing but look at the limit agent is 13 uh, c limit in front so uh, behind uh, uh, behind yeah avi left is in front Oh, but all the score just connects. But I think this is just too much muta from Mr. Avi. 10 against 7. 4 against 10. No upgrades. Very good connection, but. Even Zerglings. So. Oh, yeah, even Zerglings are attacking. I don't. Maybe? It will be very even battle. Yeah, but yeah, there are now more links, but no mutas from Mr. Ag Agent. GG well played, and Mr. Agent, after some very good games, uh, is unfortunately eliminated from the BSL. Sad to hear it, but he showed us some good games. He took a game from Terror and he took a game from Avilov. So I'm looking forward to see this player in BSL Season 6.